tell you that I love you One hundred times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you Hello, good morning. Oh, what the little stretches. Hello. Oh, look at your pretty tail. Look at your pretty tail. You say hello? Can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Hi, baby boo. Hello, baby boo. Todd's already ready for sleep again, huh, bud? Do not comfort my hair. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna fix it. We are gonna fix it, you guys. But good morning. Um, hello. I haven't been this excited in a minute. So let me explain kind of what's going on while I get ready. I've been trying so hard to get on my friend Taylor's flight. So she's working today to London and has a 30 hour layover. I messaged her yesterday. I'm like, I am literally living. I have been living on our trade board the last few days and I just, I could not seem to find a way to get onto this trip. And so yesterday she goes, well, why don't you just non-rev? I was like, all right, you know what, let's do it. I think I just got moisturizer in my eyeball. And another reason I wanted to go is because her friend who is Boston based, she also picked up London. So she's going and they were like, let's do high tea. And I've never done high tea. I've never been able really to do high tea because usually you have to book it with multiple people. Like you can't generally just do it as a party of one and you have to book it in advance. After I agreed to non-rev, I messaged Allie and I let her know. I was like, girl, it's time. I'm just gonna non-rev it. If I can't pick it up, we're just gonna go. And Allie's been wanting to get on one of my London trips. I knew it was super last minute. So I'm just like, I don't I don't know if she's gonna be able to go because literally we made this decision yesterday afternoon. So I just called her and I said, Allie, girl, I'm just, I'm gonna non-rev it. And she's like, should I go? Should I go? And I was like, oh, absolutely, you should go. So I was gonna get me and Allie a hotel room, but the place that we're staying at is completely booked. And so then they both said, they were like, you can have one of our rooms, we'll share a room. And I was like, are you serious? So that's what's gonna happen. Me and Allie are gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, crunched into the room, but we're not gonna be there very long. I mean, usually when, when I do London, mass majority of my day is spent out and about. TikTok got me, which actually doesn't usually happen too often. I feel like Allie gets me more than TikTok when she recommends stuff to me. Everybody was raving about this, this perfume. They said they have extensive perfume collections and out of all the perfumes that they wear, this is the one that they get the most compliments on, hands down, easily. Now it is, pricey. I'll put like a, a link, like an affiliate link um, down below if you guys want to, to shop it. So excited. I feel like this is just what the doctor ordered because I have been in such a funk lately. I've been so depressed, which I might notice I've been a little bit less on social media. I don't know what's going on with me. I just don't. I feel like I'm coming back. I'm on the up and up. I don't know where the planets are aligned or whatever's going on with that, but I'm sure somewhere, some something is in Mercury and it's just messing me up or something. All right. We all know how strict London is. So this is our liquids bag. It's not very big and everything's gotta go in there and it's gotta be able to zip. I'm also having an active arthritis flare up. I don't know if y'all can like see all of like the swelling that's right there in my wrist. I also just put on my Apollo compression socks just because my arthritis is super bad. And these are amazing during long haul flights. Highly recommend you get compression socks when you're flying long haul. I was actually supposed to go see my rheumatologist the other day, but Texas decided otherwise because we had a big ice storm here and they canceled. The methotrexate on its own just isn't working. So I'm gonna have to figure something out and go see them soon because it hurts so bad and it like doesn't bend any further than that. So like my other wrist bends like this and this one doesn't go back more than this right now. So I have to be very careful. I might take some ibuprofen before this flight just to hopefully help with some of the swelling because I haven't taken anything today.
so my suitcase is all packed up. I have my outfits there. I left some extra room also because I know we're probably gonna end up at Primark. I put all my hair stuff in here. And then I have just a few like cosmetics, my razor, toothbrush, makeup wipes, my little makeup bag, my hair straightener, my grocery bag that I love, and then just a purse to go with me. So this is everything. I filled it up, but there's also still plenty of space to get stuff while we're there. And I wanna go ahead and thank Base for sponsoring today's video. You guys, their bags are amazing. You don't lose any any of the aesthetics like they're so stylish like every time I'm at the airport I can spot a base bag from a mile away because it just looks so nice but also the functionality of the bag it's one of the only suitcases that I don't need to use like packing cubes I don't need to use like a hanging closet or anything because the bag is just really really smart this is gonna be her first official trip and she's going international I absolutely love this suitcase I love the handle I love the detailing that it's like padded I love the fact that it has like the TSA approved locks. It has like the built in J hook and then the inside is all organizational. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually have the same carry on bag in the beige color and I'm obsessed. This is what made me buy the other one because Chip and I are planning to go to Germany next month. So I wanted us to be able to both have a really nice suitcase, but I'm gonna give it a test drive here to London. But I also have the Weekender bag. So this is the original and I love this. It's like my Mary Poppins bag. It's absolutely massive how much this thing can hold. I know Allie has the Weekender Mini, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'm really, really hoping that she brings it because I would love to see like the size difference between this one and that one because I might buy like a Weekender Mini as well. And right now, Base is giving my subscribers 15% off your first purchase when you go to basetravel.com slash Kat Nesbitt. And that is Base Travel, B-E-I-S, travel.com slash Kat Nesbitt. And Nesbitt does have two T's in it. So once again, thank you to Base for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead, finish getting packed, and we are gonna head out of here. Okay, so I just got here. Mm. Ali said that she is in the lounge by D27. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and take um, the D, which bus is that? Oh, the one right in front of me that's uh, leaving. The other thing also is that you, Sorry y'all, um, you cannot go through crew security whenever you're going to an international. So if you're going to like touch an international and it's not for work purposes, you have to use normal security. So it's probably gonna be a little bit, hopefully not not too terribly bad, but I've already mentally prepared, <laughs> prepared myself for that because you get real spoiled. You get real spoiled with crew, um, crew security unless you get the, the random, so. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. You keep saying you love me, might be that's just the case. But then I come, I look around, if you there's not a trace. It ain't enough for me to spend my time in care. If you're just gonna love me, I'm way back over there. You guys, look who I found. It's your favorite duo. We're in the lounge right now. So I have water and pretzels and some salad pasta. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna catch up with Allie. I think we have two or three hours, probably three. I think we have like three hours before um, the flight is supposed to leave. So um, I will see you guys when it's time to board. So step it up, step it up, step it up. Baby, I'll be gone. We just got on the plane. I didn't get first class or business class, but but I got premium economy right next to this girly. So I guess we'll we'll just make it work. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Settle. I guess. I immediately took the aisle seat. I was like, girl, I have to pee every five minutes. And she's like, I wanted the window anyways, so it's just like meant to be. I know. It's We're just <laughs> We're just such good travelers together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. We're also in Taylor's section. So she's gonna be serving us, so we're gonna make sure we give her a very hard time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be the neediest passengers. 
So if you've never flown premium economy before, it's basically like the main cabin, but an upgraded version. So you get upgraded foods and amenities up here. So I figured I'd show you guys what all you get, starting with this pillow and blanket and a pair of headphones, which is really nice. They're not as nice as the first class ones, which are the better than all of them, but they're still really good. You also get an amenity kit, which includes some earplugs. It has this lip balm as well, which is the same company that this lotion is from. And the Radio Bombay scent is delicious. It's my favorite thing about being up here. It's so nice. You also get a pair of socks, an eye mask, as well as a dental kit. So if you take, take a nap and you want to brush your teeth, you can do that. There's mouthwash in it. And it has a pen as well as some coupons. So Allie and I got nice and comfortable while she was busy influencing, which I just love her. I absolutely stan her. She's so funny. But if you travel with us, this is what it looks like for a mass majority of the trip. So she's filming the takeoff. And here you can actually see the footage that she's filming. So I really didn't film much of the flight basically because it just consisted of me eating, tossing and turning and watching movies and Allie actually getting a good night's rest, which I was very, very jealous of, but here's the food. And then after a very long nine hour flight, we finally landed in London and had to get through customs. We just made it through customs. We're now looking for like the tube station to try to get over to the hotel. So this is gonna be quite the adventure. I have no idea how long it's going to take us. So it's just me and Allie, and then um, Taylor is on the employee shuttle, and we'll just meet her over there. And then Kiki doesn't land until like eight o'clock. So right now it's like six something in the morning. And so we're just gonna go on a wild adventure. So thank goodness for Allie because she basically took the reins on this and started getting us there. But one of the things I love about London is how easy it is to navigate. So first we got on a train station that left from the airport before we were gonna have to get off and then take the tube. And from there we got a little bit lost, but we kind of made our way before finally getting to the hotel. Every time I come to this hotel, I get so insulted by the mirror. Like, how is one supposed to get really down here? Like, who did this to me every time? And you guys, I can't even make this up. So I showed y'all, this is my base bag. And then Allie's over here and has this base bag. And then she also brought this base bag. And then Taylor has this base bag. It's literally just like a base takeover right now. Okay, you're probably a little bit crooked because like I legitimately, like let me show you. I just have you chilling on my Harris bag. Look at y'all right now. This is like, this is like the level of my professionalism. We got ready in here. So Taylor, me and Allie are all ready to go. This room is pretty much a disaster. Like don't look, cause it's super small and there's stuff everywhere. We'll clean it up whenever we get back. But but Kiki just got here, she landed and she got her hotel room. So the two of them are in the other room while she gets ready. And then I think we're gonna try to find like a brunch spot or something, cause I'm starving. Right now it's only 9.51, so it's still like breakfast time. But I'm super hungry. I'd like to get another coffee in there as well, or to run over to Harrod. Oh, we could do that. While they're getting ready, okay. we could run over to, um, to Harrod's. It's because I'm looking at the bag. We can run over to Marks and Spencer. Okay. Okay, so I think we might go run over to Marks and Spencer also because I can get an energy drink there. So I'm going to probably head over there and we'll just let her get ready really quick. So let's go to Marks and Spencer. <laughs> 